All right, guys. All right. So when we're dealing with quadratics, you're going to see them in three separate forms. The first one is the one that you normally see them in, and that is standard form. Okay? Standard form looks like this. AX squared plus BX plus C. Okay. AX squared plus BX plus C is standard form of a quadratic. Okay. So how do you know you have a quadratic? If you just look at an equation, how do you know it's a quadratic? The square. The square. Okay. So anything like this with like X plus 4 where there is no... This is always linear. Okay. Your x squared are your quadratics. Okay. You'll eventually, when you get to math three, you'll see x cubed. These are your cubic functions. Oh, yeah. These look like this. Oh. <laughs> um, you'll see, you guys will do absolute value which looks like this on a graph. Um, trying to think what else you guys do. You do all kinds of fun stuff in that three. The only thing we focus on in here is quadratics, and then we'll do the opposite of a quadratic, which is square root functions. And these graphs look like this. We call them the wing. Absolute value is your cheerleader. Okay, so these are standard forms. A is going to be some number. B is going to be some number. And C is going to be some number. Okay, so the A, B, and C are actually number values. You need a nap. Yeah, I really do. All right, so guys, I know it's the first day back after a three day weekend. We've got to stop with the chat. X squared plus 4x minus 8 is a standard form of a quadratic. So, anytime you're dealing with these, the first thing I want you to do is identify your A value, your B value, and your C value. You're going to need those. So, my A value is the number, the coefficient in front of X squared, which is a 1. Your B value is the number found in front of X, which is a 4. Good. And your C value, bless you, is the number that's all by itself. Negative 8. Good. Don't forget to take the sign with it. It's minus 8, so it's negative 8. Okay. So if you flip this open, okay, this is where we're going to put all of the general rules on how to find everything. So, the first thing we need to find is your axis of symmetry. Remember, we said that that was your invisible line that cuts your graph in half into two separate parts on the left and right-hand side. Mm -hmm. So, this is always going to be x equals. To find your axis of symmetry when you're looking at it from this type of an equation. You negate your B value, and you divide it by 2 times A. Negate? Yes. Negative. Change the sign. <coughs> Do we all divide by 2 A? Yes. So we'll be 4 divided by 2. So 
In this equation, when we solve for your axis of symmetry, it's negative and you plug in your B value, which you've told me was four. We then divide that by two times your A value, which was one. So when we go to solve this, it's negative four divided by two, which is negative two. So your axis of symmetry is at X equals negative two. Okay, so that's the first piece of information that you can get from this type of equation. You can also find the vertex. <coughs> now that we have your axis of symmetry, that's always the X part of your vertex. So, this actually comes over and becomes X. Negative B over 2A becomes the X part of your vertex. Well, if we know the X, how do we find the Y? Yeah, plug it in. Okay, so your Y value is what happens when I plug X into Y. So I know that looks crazy in mathematical terms, so we're going to make it simple for you. We plug in the X value and solve for Y. You plug in your X value and you solve for Y. That's just function notation. And remember, whatever's in parentheses in the function notation is what you substitute in and solve. Crazy. It's tomorrow's Wednesday, and after that, two days. It's fine. So true. <laughs> All right. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We want to try to find our vertex now. Vertex. Well, right now I know my X is negative two because that's what we solved for. We now need to take that and plug it in. So, negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2 minus 8. Wait, why did you take down the 2 and the 5? <coughs> Wait, what? You good? Anybody else? Questions, problems, oh. where I got any of this? All I did was take our original equation that I gave you, x squared plus 4x minus 8, and took your negative 2 and replaced all of your x values. Remember, when you replace, you should always put it in parentheses so the order of operations happens properly. Because most of you won't do this in your head. You're going to plug it into your calculator. Yes, ma'am. Do you know what, like, on the exam that we take in January, like, what's one of these units that you would mostly own? <sighs> We're figuring at this point... Probably quadratics. Probably quadratics and probability. <laughs> okay. All right. So when we plug this in, what's negative two squared? Uh, four, four. Four. Four plus four times negative two is eight. Negative eight. So we've got 4 minus 8, which is negative 4, minus another 8. This comes out to be negative 12. Okay, it comes out to be negative 12. <coughs> so that means your vertex is at negative 2, comma, negative 12. Bless you. Okay. All right. Some miscellaneous information you can get from this graph. You can get 
the Y intercept. You can get the Y intercept. And your Y intercept is always zero, comma, your C value. So when it's in standard form, it's always zero, comma, your C value. So in my example, my Y intercept should be zero, comma, negative eight. So your y-intercept is 0, comma, negative 8 then because your c-value was negative 8. Oh, my God. Calculator down. <sighs> so when you go to graph anything in standard form, you will be able to graph your line of symmetry, which we said was at negative two. So here's your axis of symmetry. <coughs> You'd be able to graph your vertex, negative two, negative 12. So it's gonna be somewhere down here. And you can also graph your y-intercept, which is here. That's a really bad view. This is an upward-facing parabola, so we have a minimum. If I just gave you that equation, what do you think would tell me that I have a minimum and not a max? What tells me that it opens up? <coughs> no, not the vertex. The y-axis? Not the y-axis. The, the what? Your a value. Your a value. Your a value. If your a value is positive, it opens up. If your A value is negative, it opens down. Okay. So if your equation starts off positive, it's an upward facing. If it starts out negative, it's a downward facing. Okay. All right. That's everything in standard form. Do, 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 do. If your A value is positive, it opens up. If your A value is negative, it opens down. So if you need to add that somewhere, please do so. Okay, so A value positive opens up. And if it's negative, it goes down. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, there's a big bottle back there. Okay. Your next form that we're going to look at is vertex form. This is probably the easiest form to deal with, and unfortunately, most of the time you get standard form. I will teach you, though, later on how to go from standard form to vertex form. You may or may not hate me at that point. Okay. <coughs> so, the next one's vertex form. 3x plus 2 oh, squared thanks. plus 6. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to use this example. Three times the quantity of x plus two squared minus six. So tell me this, if you had to look at this equation just where it is right now, would it open up or down? Uh, it would open up. Okay, same idea. It's a positive equation. Your first number is positive. It opens up. Okay, so we're going to have a minimum again. All right. And I'm going to put here x equals opposite h. 
How many of you are looking at me like, what in the world does that mean? Okay. So this means if I have X minus H, my H value is actually positive. Basically, it just switches the sign. You switch your signs. If I have X plus H on the inside, my H value is negative. So it's always opposite of what's inside the print. So is that always? Always this form, absolutely. Okay. So good. Elijah said, well, if you look at the example then, that means we're at X equals negative 2. And that's your axis of symmetry. <laughs> okay. It happens to the best of us. X equals negative two. Your vertex, you don't even need to solve for it. What's this form called? Vertex form. Guess what? It gives you your vertex. So your vertex is going to be opposite H. Remember, your axis of symmetry is always the X part of your vertex. The second part of your vertex is your K value, which is the number stuck on the right-hand side, what's added or subtracted. Negative, Negative six. six. Okay, this value stays the same. It's not an opposite value. So my vertex is at negative two, negative six. So basically what happens and why I'd say opposite H, because technically you need to take this and set it equal to zero to get your H value. So when I cross this equation, the equal sign, it becomes negative, which is why it's technically opposite. Okay. This will also help when we solve with factoring. Okay. So vertex is negative two, negative six. Are we going to have homework on this? Yes. I live literally gave you have three problems tonight. Okay. Oh, okay. one of each. Your life statement. Okay. Three problems, one of each. Oh, no. And then the table. Put the table up. Hold on. Hold up. Hold up. Miscellaneous. Unfortunately, there's really nothing else that this just gives you. Okay. So your miscellaneous is not applicable. Or if you want to add two here, you can put if A is positive, it opens up. And if it's negative, it opens down. So you can add that there if you would like. Or if you put it somewhere else, that's fine. Okay. So we already said that my graph opens up. I have an axis of symmetry again at negative 2. So that's here. And then negative 2, negative 6. So it's somewhere here. And it opens up. So my graph looks something like this. We've got one more form that you're going to look at. The last one is intercept form. Okay. This is the first form that you're going to learn how to manipulate from standard form to this form. And we do that by factoring. So some of you have already factored. You already know how to do it. Okay. Uh, we are going to completely refresh on it. 